This is the coolest, craziest electronic system I have ever seen on a 28 foot boat. Come check this out, people. Now, thank goodness we got Tim here. Oh, hey, Lenny. <laughs> I tell you what, there is so much going on. There is not a prayer that I would remember what each and everything on this boat is. But of course, what greets my eyes first, the 16 inchers right in the helm. Tell us a little bit about these. All right, Lenny. So what we got for, you know, for this boat show is just last week, we put in our Ferno's newest TZ, uh, TZ Touch XLs. TZ Touch XL. So yeah, if anybody's been to Miami, we introduced them down at Miami just a few short weeks ago. Now uh, we're bringing it up here to Maryland to show it off here. Okay, now that's cool. That's the latest, that's the greatest, yep. but it's not absurdly extreme yet. I look up here and what, what's going on here? <laughs> How much time you got, Lenny? Because we we'll be here all day. <laughs> so what we have up here, Furno has an app called TZ iBoat and it's a free app. So what you do, Starting out, it's a basic navigation tool, right? And it can be made as powerful as you want it to be. So it can run TZ Maps, which is the same cartography we're running on all the new XL series. So that gives you bathymetry. It gives you wait, vector, wait, 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 raster, wait, 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 everything. Wait, 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 wait. Where are the wires? What do you need wires for? That's just beaming it. Beaming it. So yes, what we have. Magically. Couple of things you can add to it, right? So it starts off as a basic app. You want to add charts to it? It's like 20 bucks a year, right? So it's just a yearly fee to access the entire US cartography database. So you have that. Well, we also have two new sounders, the FCB 600, FCB 800, just introduced them a few weeks ago. They can stream wirelessly right to the TZ iBoat app. All very cool stuff, but wait, like they say on TV, but wait, there's more. What do we got going on down here? Now we got an autopilot right there. We absolutely have the Navpilot 300 right here. I know that little guy because he's on my boat. But what's next to it? So right, ne right next to it, kind of looks like an identical display, right? And it kind of is, same exact size. This is an FI-70 nav data repeater. And you know what? We even have a hidden one, look right up there. Oh. So anybody standing in the back, if they just want to see some quick information, you can just bounce through your screens and pretty much see everything that's going on. It just repeats the data that you feed it via NMEA 2000. Now, I see you've also got side scan going here. We have side scan going here. And what's that interesting screen? <laughs> so that is from the DFF3D multi-beam sonar. Whoa, 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 whoa. You put multi-beam sonar we did. on a 28-foot boat. On a 28-foot boat. Okay, I'm stopping you right there because that's just crazy. What did you have to do to get the transducer in here? <laughs> Right. Tim, there's a lot of wires down here. What the heck's going on? So, Lenny, to make sure we had enough, we have five transducers. Five. Five. You put five transducers on a 28-foot boat. Five transducers on a 28-foot boat. We want to be able to that, test anything. That's what I call extreme. Now, I can see a couple of them, but you got wires going under here. What's down there? So, right here, we have the side scan. It's right about here. Right here, we have the combo transducer, which is the one that's pocket mounted. So, so two transducers in one. We talked about the DFF3D multi-beam sonar. That's the front half of the transducer. Then the back half of the transducer is a 275 uh, high wide. This one's an Airmore depth, ultrasonic depth speed temperature. And this one is your standard 5200 kilohertz transducer. So we can, do, we can take this out into the ocean, see a couple thousand feet. We have everything we need to cover, everything from shallow here in the Chesapeake Bay out off the uh, Atlantic Canyon. I'm stopping you right there. What do I have to do to get this on my boat? Well, <laughs> so if you want a combo, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. It's a great transducer, but it's made to be pocket mounted. So it's kind of a tricky install, but man, if you do it, it's one of the most amazing. It is perfectly flat with the bottom of the boat. So that's a custom job. That is a custom job. Okay. Oh, and there's quite a bit going on up here on the hard top too. At this point, you might be saying to yourself, okay, this is a pretty radical, pretty extreme setup. Uh, we forgot to point out we've also got radar on here, but wait, there's yet more. Now, let's just say that I'm out for a wonderful day of fishing. I'm having a great time, but I don't want to take my eyes off the fish finder, but I got to go to the bathroom really bad. What am I going to do? Well, people, you asked for it. In 
reality, no, those fish finders are not in here in case you need to go to the head. They're in here because this is Furuno's boat and they use it for testing. But I wanted to give you a glimpse of what it looks like behind the console on a boat with electronics this extreme. You've got your network hub, you've got your Sirius XM Marine, you've got your dual Optimus gateways since you have two engines, you've got a lighting control, you've got the autopilot. And wait, there's yet more. Over on this side, we've got the DFF 3D multi beam sonar processor. Wow, that is something else, Tim. Thank you so much for sure. Wait, what? Okay, so now we're just showing off, right, Lenny? <laughs> Come on. We are at a boat show. We wanted to catch people walking down the dock, so we threw up the TZT 24XL. Now that is pretty darn cool. Not something you see every day on a 28 foot boat. But Tim, thank you so much for showing me this boat and people. If you're at the boat shows, walking down the docks, keep an eye out for Furuno 1. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.